What was the emphasis today? Yeah, no, um, you know, just to get better every day. You know, every day we're going to take it one one day at a time, one game at a time. Um, and, you know, that's the, that's the ultimate goal. That's what Coach harps on. Uh, whenever we bring it in as a team, you know, we're going to come in here every day as a team and as individuals and, and get better. Next, we'll go to Chris Marlowe. Hey, PJ, uh, there are some that are saying that win on Thursday night was your best win of the season. I was wondering how you guys took that, uh, what kind of confidence you get out of it, and uh, where you think that win takes you going forward. Uh, any win we get is the best win for us, um, you know. So, we, like I said, we take it one game at a time. Uh, you know, we're definitely going to let that momentum ride us into the next game, um, you know, but the most important game is the next one. So, you know, we try to try to take it one game at a time and uh, we're going to continue to get better and continue to get wins. We'll go to Todd Romero next. Hey, PJ, when you're out with there with that second unit, uh, how good is it, run, is it to run with Monte and how he directs this team and holds on to the ball with no turnovers and kind of gets you guys in the right place? It's great. It's great, you know, to be able to run alongside a, a guard, point guard like that, you know, that, that knows how to take care of the ball, knows how to take care of, of the game, you know, ultimately, and uh, get, get his teammates into the position that they need to be in for us to be successful. Um, you know, so we get, we get it off the rim and, and we're off to the races. Next, we'll go to Katie Wingy. Katie, you just got on mute. All right, it's not working. We'll uh, we'll go to Mike Singer next. Hey, PJ, uh, we're 12 games into the year, and you're averaging 20 minutes a night. Like, when did you realize that you were going to have a substantial role on this team? Did Malone tell you in preseason? Did you have a sense this offseason? Like, or did you did it just dawn on you that you're playing 20 minutes a night now? Um, you know, they, they always told me, you know, that I have a, a, a role on the team. Um, you know, wasn't sure, uh, you know, how extensive that role was going to be. Um, but, you know, it's definitely a blessing to be able to be out there with my teammates, um, you know, and get the minutes that I'm getting. You know, that's all a player can ask for, uh, you know, is to be able to prepare for, for, for a time like this that, you know, I've always been asking for to, to be out there on the court. So, um, you know, just try to take advantage of every opportunity I get. All right, sounds like we have time for one more here. We'll go to Matt Moore. Hey, PJ, uh, the bench unit, your defensive numbers have been excellent ever since Jamichael got back. You know, Jamichael's playing down a spot a couple times. You're playing it at three a lot of times. You know, you're running two guard, three guard lineups. How are you guys able to be so successful defensively despite being at a size disadvantage a lot of times? It takes all five guys, all five guys out on the court, um, holding themselves accountable, um, you know, knowing that uh, our brother has our back, you know, if, if there's a breakdown, um, you know, and just to try to defend with multiple efforts. You know, it's not going to be perfect every night or every possession, um, but, you know, we're, we're a team out there, and it's, it's going to take all five guys, and we know that. All right, PJ, thank you.